This watch has the best salmon doll I've seen, and it only costs $120. I mean, just look at it. This is the Pierre Paulin Sector Doll. This watch was sent over for review, and instead of keeping it, I'm going to be giving this away to one of you. Stay tuned for giveaway instructions later on in this video. This Pierre Paulin has a great set of dimensions that will fit the majority of wrist sizes. The case profile is quite utilitarian, which is quite an interesting choice for such a classy doll. It's mostly flat surfaces, and the transitions are well defined. There's a nice curvature at the lugs, which are drilled to make strap changes much easier. The bezel has a step construction, further cementing that utilitarian look. The case is entirely brushed, which helps draw your attention towards the dull. The crown is signed with a nice engraving of the Merker logo. You can wind the watch with the crown down, and pulling it out allows you to set the time. The crystal on this is heavily raised and it lends to the vintage styling. Like the classic 70s dial I reviewed a while back, it's made of K1 mineral, which is more resistant than regular mineral crystals but less than sapphire. The crystal looks beautiful. It's very clear with minimal reflections or even distortions from acute angles. The star of the show though is that dial. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a salmon coppery color with a combination of three different finishes. The inner section is sort of bead blasted, the ring with the numerals has a circular brushing, and the subdial has deep concentric grooves. Seeing those details in a watch at this price point is almost unheard of. The skeletonized hands are painted in a dark blue shade that pops against the salmon dial, which makes them very visible. The hand finishing looks really good even under macro. The hour and minute hands have rounded edges, but the sub-second hand is more of a flat rectangle. Moving on to the case back, and you'll see a laser etched lion and the Merkel Watch Group text. Pierre Paulin is a sub-brand of the Merkel Watch Group, which has other brands like Sizen and more under its umbrella. This watch is powered by a hand-winding mechanical movement that Merkel says is custom-made. It averaged around plus 10 seconds per day during my time with it, which is more than acceptable. I don't really have that much information about this movement. All I know is that it looks good and it doesn't have a hacking function. If you know what movement this is, let me know in the comments. This watch comes supplied on a suede leather strap that's actually quite decent. It has quick release spring bars and it's comfortable from the first wear. The subdued light grey colour helps the salmon dial pop even more when it's on your wrist. So what do I think about the Pierre Paulin Sector Dial? It's a classy, gorgeous watch that packs a lot of dial detail at a fantastic price point. I honestly don't think there's another watch at this price point that comes with a better dial than this one. But there are a few things that can be improved, starting with the crystal. It looks great but it might pick up scratches over regular wear. Especially if you're a klutz like me. I wish they went with sapphire instead. The hour and minute hands were also just a tad too long. They look more proportionate if the tips touch the inner and outer rings instead of overlapping them like they do here. Lastly, I had a QC issue on my unit. You might have already spotted this, but there are spots on two lugs where they kind of forgot to brush them the top part of those lugs are brushed, while the bottoms are polished. Compare this to how it looks on the lug that's fully brushed. I thought about brushing the lugs myself with some sandpaper, but knowing my DIY skills, there was a good chance I'd mess it up. So instead of doing that, I'm going to be giving this watch away to one of you. I think it's an easy fix, and I hope you have steadier hands than I do. To enter the giveaway, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and leave a like and comment on this video. I'll do a random draw on May 9th to select the winner, and I'll post a giveaway announcement video shortly after. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Good luck with the giveaway, and I'll catch you next time.